see going on today. A uh, little bit of a bounce. We saw a bounce towards the end of the day yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, 500, 500 were down as much as 120 points. We ended up only down about, uh, I want to say, about 80 points. And then we do see a little bit of a rally today, 22 points. I'm not really sure if I trust this rally. You know, as I see everything going across the tape and see from CNBC, see a lot of stuff like, oh, Uber. Oh, Uber. We had a signal in Uber that I gave everybody yesterday. Uber on fire. Woo. Uber up $2.20. We talked about buying Uber. They were the 10 141s, I want to say, 10 841s. 10 841 calls. It closed at 98 cents. Those things are going to be worth about two bucks today. So Uber on fire here this morning. Opening bell here in about a minute. We are recording this. And let me get the recording going for 1450 Club. If you are in 303, you get the first 30 minutes. 1450 Club get an hour. Lifetime 1450 Club get an extra hour. So a lot of possible trades today. We had a lot of signals yesterday. Um, yesterday. All the long trade positions yesterday, like nothing really made money, nothing really lost. It was kind of like, eh, whatever. Eh, 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 eh. Um, so we got 30 seconds to go. Futures up 23 and a quarter. Uber up two and a half. So I signal yesterday in Uber, guys. Let me see which, which one of those scanners that hit up for us. Let's go to Uber. So Uber hits Option Hacker. 10 8 41 calls at 109. That's what hit yesterday. Uh, well, they hit our Option Hacker scanner yesterday. Features up 24 points. Uber calls up to 220. Here we go. Boom. Riot calls up a little bit. Uber up Uber up 270. Those calls are doubled in value in Uber, guys. Uber calls have doubled in value over at RDSA up two dollars today. Well, hello. 45 calls are back to 25, 30, uh, 15, 25. Uh, CRK up 12 cents. LI up. Oxy up a half. Cotty up a little bit. Fisker up eight cents. Zip actually up higher today, too. Uh, well, Uber hit Option Hacker, guys. Our proprietary based scanner called Option Hacker. So if you can get that, if you want to add Option Hacker, you can at optionhacker.com. We talked about it after the first 30 minutes of the day. It hit our proprietary based Option Hacker scanner. Delta calls higher, VST higher, Walmart higher. ARKK puts trading here. Zip up. Uber calls are up to two dollars. Uh, the forty ones are up to two fifty here, guys. Two fifty. RDSA big news. Forty fives are up to twenty twenty five right now. We got in thirty five. We got in I think twenty five. Uber on fire. Woo. Five minute bar closes here in a minute. Futures only up 13 and a half here. So futures only up 13 and a half. Tesla up a buck, a couple bucks. Um, we did see that rally towards the end of the day. Amazon up 12. Uh, Lucid calls being sold here. So let me show you the signal from Uber, guys. This is a signal that had option hacker yesterday. Right there. Uh, after 43 minutes into the day, we flagged this for subscribers. Trader buys Uber. Um, 10, 8, 41 calls. 109 up to 250 overnight guys so up to 250 here in uber overnight guys up to 250 in uber overnight not a bad signal hit 43 minutes into the trading day made 750 dollars great trading they raised their guidance yeah i always have a structured note in uber so i'm always technically long uber <clears throat> clove trading here nothing to do in clove Delta hit target one. Delta about hit target number two on the penny spike scanner. So Delta 20 cents to 30 cents. Freeport up a couple pennies. Riot calls getting hit. Oxy up a couple pennies. RDSA up $1.70. Uh, five minute bar closes here in about two minutes. So a lot of signals from yesterday working out, guys. A lot of signals from yesterday working out. QS I saw was up a lot this morning. <clears throat> Up 270. The 27s are still going to be worth zero, though. 
unfortunately. Uber, 75% profit. You should have made more than that in Uber. Those calls are up to 270 today, guys. Wow. 270. 110 to 270. So great signal in that one. Should I get some music going or no? Nah, I don't need music today. <laughs> Five minute bar closes here in about two minutes. UBS calls me, puts me in one UBS. Freeport up a couple pennies. VST, we saw huge buyers of VST calls yesterday. No 18s, no 19s. Um, VST, no 18s, no 19s. Fisker up six cents. CCJ, Oct first 23 is trading here. Small order. 100% profit in Delta, guys. Boom. That's what I like to see. So we saw Delta hitting. Option Hacker as well. Those hit our penny spike scanner. We flagged those to subscribers. 100% profit overnight. Oh, yeah. Let's check this out. So this hit yesterday in Delta. We gave this to subscribers. 100% profit. Right there, 100% profit in Delta. Great trading, guys. Great trading. Now you're getting featured on my Instagram. Roxanne, you're getting featured on the gram. Ah. You make money, get featured on my Instagram. Delta, guys. 20 to 40. Boom. Put this lower. Here's up 1575. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Five minute bar just closed. Let's go look at the five. MGM calls being bought. Ooh, MGM calls being bought. XOP puts being bought. Utley. Nothing to do in that one. Small orders here. FFIV. Sorry, FFIE. Wow, look at these. A day trade hitting, guys. I wouldn't take these. A day trade hitting. I wouldn't take these, though. Day trade by FFIE. This week, 11 calls for 50. Uh, targets, 65 and 75. FFIV, huge call buyers in the 11s, guys. FFIV, huge call buyers in the 11. They're not one penny wide market. So if you want to take this, these are riskier. I would not pay 55. There's 415 offered at 55. So I would not pay 55. You can get it at 50. Uber. Oh, yeah. Great trading, guys. Uber, great trading. 200% profit. That's what I like to see. So we have a day trade in FFIE. FFIE. We see some love calls being bought. So FFIE, they're up to 55.60 now. That's a day trade. And we see some uh, love. 10-1 calls being bought for 128. This is a 48-hour spike. And it is a uh, option hacker trade. $3,750 in Delta. Wow, what a great trade. Yeah, QS is higher, but these calls are still worth zero. Eh, they're worth eight cents. Um, so we have a trade here, and uh, this is just an idea, guys. Scan idea. Buy LUV. Uh, 10, 1, 2021. Uh, 50 calls for 128. Ooh. Not calling this as a signal. I don't like options above a dollar as a generalization. You could use this to buy call spreads or sell credit put spreads. It is a bullish signal here in LUV. It is a bullish signal here in LUV. LUV, we have a bullish signal, guys. A bullish signal. You can use this to do whatever you want. Buy stock, sell market on close. You can day trade it. You can buy different options. But we do see a buyer of LUV calls. LUV calls being bought here, guys. In love. They're up to 140, 138 here. So up to 138, I would use this to do spreads. Maybe you want to buy next week 50-51 call spread. Maybe you want to buy the 51-52 call spread.
But yeah, I'm looking at that in a second. All right, so five minute bar. Apple on the five. No signal. So Apple on the five. No signal. Bear bar above the cloud. Bear bar above the cloud. We're looking for a bull bar above the cloud. So bear bar above the cloud. No signal in Apple. Next one is the Amazon. Amazon. No signal. Amazon. Bear bar in the cloud. Remember, we're looking for a bull bar above the cloud. So this is a bear bar above the cloud. No signal. Next one. Baba. No signal in Baba. Hey, AK, what should we do with QS? Um, I mean, you can sell them or you can hold them. I don't like to sell options for seven cents or eight cents, so I'd rather hold them, but if you want to sell them, you can get about eight cents for them. Baba, no signal. Facebook, no signal. Too much selling at the end of the day yesterday. So no signal here in Facebook. Google, bear bars. We're actually seeing selling pressure in the fang names. Google, no signal. Tesla, no signal. We got one left and we'll have no signals on the five. So no five minute bar longs. No five minute bar longs today, guys. No five minute bar longs. No five minute bar longs. Walmart up a couple pennies. LUV up to a little bit. FFIE, we saw calls being bought. FFIV getting a little bit of a bid here. So we see volume. 3,720, FFIE, this week 11 calls being bought for 50 cents. So FFIE guys, FFIE getting a bid. Uber up three dollars. RDSA of a buck ninety. Not really buying into this rally. Um, LUV calls being bought. I probably wouldn't buy those. Um, if you wanted to buy call spreads, I think it's okay. You know, maybe I'd come in here and I would look at uh, call spreads. So I'd buy the fifty-one fifty-two call spread. I can do that for thirty-four cents. So that gives me a two-to-one reward or a setup. And if LUV gets above 51.34, I'll start making money. So, I think LUV is a bullish signal. But, come on, but, SKX up a little bit here. Those calls are, whoa, SKX up a dollar today. Freeport down a little bit. Uh, FFIE hit target one, guys. FFIE hitting target one at 60 cents. They're up to 5,700 of these guys. They keep buying more. And FFIE. I always like to see how high the stock can go. So I bring up FFIE on a five minute bar. And it's got a nice ATR. It's got an 85 cent ATR. Average true range. So what we look at here is the low of the day. Plus the ATR, the stock can get up to 11.40 today. Low of the day, plus the ATR, stock to get to 11.40 today. FFIE hit number, target one, guys. So if you got it at 50, 60 cents. QS up 250. So now QS calls are up to 16 cents. QS calls are up to 16. Nice little trade there. Delta, you'd be out. Uber, you'd be out. Yeah, there was 17 cents right now. Let's go to that ATR here at QS. $1.30. So 
could get up to 2382. Yeah, they went from zero cents. Seven hundred fifty dollars and not Uber. Great trading. AIG small profits. Nice trading. Great trading. Five minute bars. Nothing today. Big profits in Uber, Delta, uh, American up a little bit here. Bank of America puts trading here. FFIV, target one hit, guys. FFIE, target one hit. Target two would be 75 here. So I could get to 11.40. Now they're buying the 12 and a half for next week, guys. 12 and a half for next week, guys. Trading 50 cents. More FFIE calls being bought, guys. Wow, look at this thing go. FFIE, they're buying the 12 and a half for next week. Great trading. Spartan said he made money. Buy FFIE 10-1, 2021. 12 and a half calls for 50. Just an idea. I don't want to be chasing up here. But I think this trade does work. FFIE, they can't get enough of you. More calls being bought in FFIE, guys. We gave you the day trade this morning. Hit our proprietary base day trade scanner. If you didn't get in that trade, like I said, you can always get it at uh, optionhacker.com. Now they're buying more calls in FFIE. FFIE on fire. Target 2 about to get hit on the day trade, guys. How do you like that? 50% profit, guys. 50% profit in 15 minutes on this FFIE trade. Also, we see some 12 and a half being bought for next week. So two different strikes, two different expirations. Futures up 22 and a half. Here we go, guys. Making another move. SSR stands for short stock restricted. Means you can't short the stock. 75 cents hitting guys in FFIE. Target two hit on the day trade for 50% profit. If you guys are making money in FFIE, just let me know. I'm gonna feature on my Instagram. There we go. Stock was 1080. Stocks have moved up 40 cents. The option has gone up 50% in value, guys. 50% in value on this day trade here. There's only been three trades that hit the scanner. 50% profit here in FFIE. And next week, 12 and a half. So we're up to 65. We gave you those at 50. Oh, AK. How do you do it? I don't know. Zip actually up today. We got out of that trade like last week. OC 30s, 70, 80. RDSA up a little bit. RDSA 2025. If you didn't get an FFIE, hopefully there'll be another signal. Future's very strong now. Up 30. QS got up to about 17. Down to about 14. Ah, high of the day is 18 here in QS. QS high of the day is 18. FXI puts being sold. They, I guess they sold a lot of Morgan Stanley uh, 90 puts yesterday, someone said. Nothing better than coffee. Melco puts trading here. LUV has gone down in value. Talked about not getting in that trade. Day trade is over, guys. 50 to 75. Made 100 bucks in FFIE. Nice. 150 bucks. Nice. That one is over. So the weeklies is over. We saw next week 12 and a half. We gave you that signal this morning. We put it in the chat box. So if you miss that signal, hopefully there will be another one. That's the great thing about trading, guys. There's always signals. So if you miss a signal, hopefully you can get in a different signal. So we're going to remove this. Mm -hmm -hmm. Sketchers up a little bit. Oh, bit. Futures up 33 after the huge sell-off yesterday. So let's go here and look at the S&P 500s on the daily chart. So 
So we have that big tail on the bottom yesterday. So we did see a nice little bounce back from the lows. And we've bounced back about 70 points from the lows in the S&P 500 futures. Hello. There we go. So yesterday we saw that big tail on the bottom, tail on the bottom, means the buyers came in. So futures were down about 120 points. We saw that huge tail on the bottom. So this is a pretty easy candlestick formation. What you can do basically is you can you want to buy above the candle, you want to sell below the candle. Okay. And sell below, buy above. So the low yesterday was 42.93. So we rallied 90 points. Big buyer NWSA calls. This is about a this is a huge trade, guys. These are in the money calls. I like doing out of the money calls. I don't like in the money calls. NWSA, guys. NWSA. Huge buyers of calls. NWSA, guys. Huge buyer of calls. These are OC 1522s. This is about a three quarters of a million dollar bet. Buy NWSA 10, 15, 20, 21, 22 calls for 120 to hit the tape, guys. So hit the scanner at 120. Targets will be 180 and 240. NWSA, huge buyer of calls, guys. Monster buyer of calls. Huge buyer of calls in NWSA. NWSA hitting the tape here. NWSA. So we see a big buyer. These hit our proprietary base Option Hacker. Once again, if you couldn't get in, you can always buy this at OptionHacker.com. You can see the volume. That's how many options trade today. 7,572. Open interest, or how many exist before today? 46. So this is a big, big buyer here. One twenty, you get at one twenty five if you like them right now. NWSA, guys. NWSA. QS on fire. QS is now flipped to a winner, guys. QS is now flipped to a winner. QS is now flipped to a winner. Wow, FFIE. Can't stop, won't stop. Look at this thing go. Weekly 11's on fire, guys. Weekly 11's on fire. Weekly 11's on fire. 12 and a half. Oh, look at those guys. The 12 and a half, 50% price. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let me go with these. Uh, 12 and a half, up to 65 now. LUV getting a bit. We're taking off all QS calls, guys. We're taking off all QS calls for small profits. So QS is now flipped to a winner. Took a little sweat on that one. Uh, for 1450 Club is a loser. For 303 is a winner. So let's go in here real quick. So QS. We actually, I might have removed this yesterday, but they went to literally zero yesterday. They literally went to add a penny yesterday. 
So QS is now a winner here. We got out of 20. Winner. So this month for uh, 303, four winners, one loser. So I'd like to see. Two, four, seven losers in the last three months. And 11, 14, 24 winners, guys. That's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Freeport getting worked. Found 78 cents. Got a QS at 24. Nice. Socks up three dollars or 23.25. NWS a huge buyer of calls. You can get them at 120 right now. They're in the monies. Let's get a chart of this. It's got a small ATR, guys, so I like stocks with bigger ATRs. I do like the, how big the order was, though. It's a 5,000 lot. So I do like how big the order is. I do like how big the order is. NWSA down to a buck. At a buck, I would take them. They're 110, 125. Appeal. U.S. Steel calls being bottled. Uh, maybe a little too late in the day, guys. So U.S. Steel calls being bought. Uh, these are weekly 22s, 39 cents. U.S. Steel, guys. U.S. Steel, weekly 22s, 30, 40 cents. I, I just don't like how much the market's up today. I would probably wouldn't be looking to day trade. So U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel, guys. U.S. Steel. Letter X calls being bought here. Letter X being bought here, guys. Letter X. If you're Project 303 member, you get about two minutes. 
Uh, Xerox was an idea. CRK, we're still in. RDSA moving up. Uber up $3. And we always talk about it, guys. If you want to use a 50% stop loss, you can use a 50% stop loss in anything. So if you want to use a 50% stop loss, you can use a 50% stop loss. U.S. Steel getting hit. To 35 in the day trade. Futures getting hit. I don't trust this rally, guys. I talked about it. I don't trust this rally. I think there's very easily go down on the day. So if you have a day where you make some money in FFIV, you make some money back in QS, take that money. QS calls, we're out. We got out at 20 cents. We traded up to 25. For 303, this trade is now a winner. So for 303, we have four winners, one loser this month. If you remember 303, you're going to get booted out of here in about a month, about a minute. 1450 Club, you got another hour. If you pay for lifetime, you have another. Oh, sorry, you have another half an hour. If you pay for lifetime, you have another hour. Zip Recruiter, Act 30s. NWSA. Thirty seconds to go. FFIE, a great day trade, hit fifty percent profit. Uh, we saw some FFIE next week, twelve and a half. NWSA calls being bought. If NWSA hit like a dollar or maybe ninety cents, I'd probably call it a signal in that. News Corp. I like out of the money calls, as you can see, these are in the money calls. So you get a better ROI, return on investment, if you get those out of the money calls. Since these are in the money, the 22 strike, I don't like them as much. All right, guys, you remember 303. I will see you tomorrow. If you remember 1450 Club, another 30 minutes, if not another hour with AK at its finest. Thanks, everyone. They gone. Nah. <laughs> They gone. Time to buy the new Vixie? Maybe. I may be. Rig trading here. Me at a rig trading here. VST calls up a little bit. CNR calls up a little bit. Uh, do, 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 do. Five, no five minute bar long. The thing looks very weak again today. I'm up six dollars in DD. DD, DD. I don't know how that's right. Um, so honor scanner so far today. Two day trades, one winner, one I wouldn't have taken. Option hacker. Once again, an option hacker. I wouldn't have taken anything, guys. Nothing on penny spike. Nothing on super uh, short squeeze. Nothing on option hacker 2.0. So, one, two, three, four, five standard. Five signals. Two of them in FFIE. Two of them in FFIE. RDSA, we're still in. Yep. Free port. Not looking good. I think the market goes lower today. I think we go down in the day. Fitch, no 35 puts being sold. 4,000 Fitch, no 35 puts being sold. 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 I still think we can go down on the day, guys. I don't trust this market. I wouldn't be looking to get overly long. Made some money on the day trade. Good for you. We took off QS today at 20. Uber taking off today for nice profits. Dropbox trading here, nothing doing Dropbox. Dropbox.
AMLP. LUV calls 120. Those hit option hacker. There's the first signal of the day. Delta went up to 43 and back down. Look at the high of the day. Delta went up to 41.77. So Delta 42s. Those trade up to 56 cents today, guys. Delta 42s, 56 cents today. Delta 42s trade up to 56 cents today. Uber, we saw huge buyers calls yesterday. The 41s up to 250. Uh, it, was, it was these actually. 280 today, guys, in Uber. Uh, OVV was just an idea, it was not an official signal. OC 34s, those are down to about 15.20. FFIV sinking here a little bit. NWSA moving lower. I think the market does go lower here. Bum, 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 In Baltimore all week. Z Baltimore. All Z week. Don't trust this rally. I think the market could get some selling pressure. TPR calls being bought small. I mean, FFIV is kind of the most interesting order of the day, in my opinion. Lots of calls. Tesla. I'm always long Tesla in what's called a structured note. So let me go to Tesla real quick. Far, far, Faraday Future Intellect. It was $17. Let's look at uh, Tesla on the a daily chart. So Tesla on the daily. I don't know when that pops up. Um, Tesla on the daily. Um, you know, I'd rather be long than short, but I'd rather buy a pullback than buy it here. I think Tesla can test down to probably around the 600 level. Um, Uber on the five. So low of the day plus the ATR. Uber could get up to 43.73. That's the low of the day plus the ATR. So 43.73. Low of the day plus ATR. But if the market rolls over, Uber probably will roll over with it. That was an unbelievable signal. Like I said, guys, you can get all the scanners at optionhacker.com. And WSA now back up to 125. 115, 125 in the money calls. Yeah, I think we go down on the day. Should we do a little poll here in a minute? Draft King calls being bought. No, thank you. Draft King getting destroyed. Huge buyer of next week's 60s, guys. Huge buyer of next week's 60s. Huge buyer of next week's 60s. Draft King next week's 60s being bought. Draft King next week's 60s. DKNG next week's 60s trading here. DKNG next week's 60s. Big buyer. Fifteen and a quarter.
Page is up 15 and a quarter, guys. Uber calls traded as high as 280. SPY, break it down as AK predicted. Down. Here we go. About to go down on the day as AK predicted. Here we go. And maybe we go down and rally at the end of the day. I just, I don't trust an S&P up 25 points after yesterday's sell-off. Just don't trust it. We have a longer day to trade in Freeport. Freeport, more calls being bought. These are December calls in, in Freeport, guys. So this is a longer day to trade in Freeport. So longer day to trade by FCX, 12, 17, 2021, 33 calls for 180. Targets 270 and 360. Longer day to trade here, guys. In the Freeport McLeman, December calls being bought. Not the biggest order. You know, Freeport has traded 6 million shares. You got to always line it up with how many shares of stock. So Freeport has traded 6 million shares. And then we see the 12-17-2021, 33 calls trading here at 181. At 181. Uber calls down back to 250. Not an official signal, no. Actually, I have no official signals today. The one I like the most was probably NWSA. I just I don't trust this market today, so I, I don't want to like encourage you guys to get long when the futures are up 30 points. I want you guys to get long when the market's been down, right? You don't want to be trading backwards. Buy the dips and sell the rips. Do that. Zip just keeps going higher. Zip Recruiter, Oct 30s, we're up to 80, 95. We got out at 80. QS, we got out of today. So I guess like today, we, we cut cut back on a little bit of logs. We got out of QS. We got into Uber Nice Trading. And 1450 Club. QS went to zero yesterday. At least they got back to 20 cents. So if you had a 10 lot, that's a free $200. So QS. Was it for a lifetime trade? It might have been a lifetime trade. Ooh, RDSA got up to 25 today. Those are 15.20. So this month, three winners, three losers. So we made money in Fisker, we made money in Zip, and then we made money in LUV. Whack goes the market. Zip, nice trading, 500 bucks. Uh, CRK is still in that. Probably should be taking that off, though. We have, uh, here, guys, guys, we have a penny spike in DraftKings. DraftKings is getting destroyed here. We do have a penny spike in DraftKings, guys. This week, 58 at 25 cents, guys. We have a penny spike, our first penny spike of the day. If you take these, I would suggest taking these small. DraftKings this week 58 calls. DraftKings getting destroyed. I don't know why here. 
25 cents. They hit our uh, proprietary base uh, penny spike scanner, guys. So targets 38 and 50. So we have a first penny spike of the day. First penny spike of the day, guys, in DraftKings. 25 cents. Those traded as high as 155 today. Look at this, guys. DraftKings this week 58. 25 cents. They hit our penny spike. Those are up to 30 already. Targets will be 38 and 50. DraftKings, guys. Big call buyer in DraftKings. And we see a lot of calls being bought in next week's 60s. Uh, next week's 60s in DraftKings. So this week, a 58. Next week, 60s in the DraftKings. So DraftKings may be something to keep an eye on here. Delta trade up to 56. Deutsche Bank. us <laughs> draft king calls this week 58 to hit our penny spike scanner if you wanted to hold these overnight this does have a big HTR guys 240 a day 240 a day hundred bucks worth I don't hate that NWSA up to 130 now Wow, look at NWSA get it bad. So this is really cool. What I do here is I can, I want to detach a gadget and I want to create a watch list. So let's go in here and create a watch list. And these will be signals from 920. Cool. And then what I do is I just come in here and I take all the, uh, I can't. Save. Okay, here we go. So I want to just move all the signals from yesterday into this one. So you can create all these watch lists. So like, I just want to bring in like all the signals from yesterday, and I want to move them into this watch list. So Deutsche Bank, I have. Um, so I can remove Deutsche Bank now. So you only have so much space. Riot. Cool. Uber. Uber the high of the day, 280. Future's not getting a bit again. Pfizer. Cool. And I'm just moving all these. And if you took DraftKings, guys, I'm taking, I would say small. You know, don't, don't go hog wild on the penny spikes. These are all the signals from yesterday. I just like to watch these and see how they do. I think Freeport's getting to a point where you might want to, you know, buy some upside calls. I do like Freeport alongside a little bit. Sketchers hit yesterday. VST. Zigiliad. So this is kind of cool, guys. So I'm creating a watch list from signals that hit yesterday. So I can just monitor these. <clears throat> I'm just slowly copying this. What I do is I come in here and I copy this and I move it to a new watch list. Okay, so that's everything from yesterday. So then I'll come over here, I'll make this smaller. And then I'll come in here and I'll add this over here. Then I'll go to setup. And what I do in setup, I just save my workspace as. I'm in Baltimore, so let's call it Baltimore Sept. Save. So now when I come in here tomorrow and I, and I bring this up, I have all the signals that have came in yesterday here. And then all the signals that hit today over here. Pretty cool. Draft can cause down a little bit. Next week's 60s you can get for uh, 26 cents. Let's see where those hit the tape. So 
So, wow, DraftKings. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's look at them today. <laughs> Genius. I don't know about that. If you can get next week's 60s for about 25 cents, guys, I think it's worth a flyer. If you can get next week's 60 DraftKings calls for like 25 cents, you know, maybe you buy like four of them or something like that. Um, I think that's worth a do. If you can get DraftKings next week 60s for like 25 cents, all I have to do is go back to 35. Let's go to the low of the day here in DraftKings and add that ATR. So DraftKings low of the day. So if the low is in for the day in DraftKings, it can get up to 56. Uber, new high of the day. Talked about Uber getting to 53.40. Uber for 4340. That's the low of the day plus the ATR. And is the Uber. Uber. I really want to call it a signal in uh, DraftKings next week's 60s. 28 cents. Too cheap. Uh, we have a day trade here in open. Way too late in the day, guys. Open 21 is being bought. No, thank you. Big buyer of open, guys. Open calls. Uh, 924.21s. I think it's too late in the day. Open, guys. The 20s. The 20s and open, guys. Hitting our penny spike scanner at 35 cents, guys. Open. The 20s hitting here. Open door. Penny spike, guys. So you know. Thirty-five. You want to get into these fifty and seventy. So penny spike, guys. Penny spike. Penny spike. In the open. Z open guys. Open next week twenty or this week twenty, sorry. Open this week twenties. <laughs> So that's like 130 bucks. So we have DraftKings to the bottom here. The real at 15 is trading here. I still think this market could sell off, so I'm you know very a little skeptical of this market. Zip up to 90 cents here. So zip was a winning trade for us this month. So I bought a call has been bought in HCC. Uber calls up to $3, guys. That is unbelievable. Actually, it's not unbelievable. It's believable. Uber, more calls being bought. Yeah, Zip, we got out of last week. 
I just, you know, I didn't like the market last week. We got out of some longs last week. I'm not really looking to get overly long today. I'm not looking to get really short today. I'm just kind of like hanging out. Maybe take a little bit of money here. Maybe you make a little bit of money here. Um, you make money in Uber. DraftKings, I do like these calls. VST higher, Skechers higher. Futures going about to go down in the day as AK predicted. Right at eight and a half trading here. Ooh, I could call these out as a signal. 1200 trade here. Uh, right, eight and a half. Let's look at the uh, ATR here. Fifty-four cents. But they're just so cheap here. I'm gonna call it a signal here, guys. And ride eight and a half, thirty-four cents. So fourteen fifty club official signal by R I D E ten fifteen twenty twenty one eight and a half calls for thirty four. Uh, targets will be 48 and 65. So ride, guys. We're going to call it a signal here and ride. I just like it because it's a cheap option. You get a lot of time in it. And it's got a decent ATR. So this will be your, fish, uh, your signal for today, guys. In ride. I want to ride. Ride. R-I-D-E, guys. These are the 10, 15, 20, 21. Uh, the eight and a half. So you could have got in at 34. We're going to call it our signal at 34. Uh, targets will be 48 and 65. Um, cheap options, guys. ATR here is 54 cents. So not a bad ATR. Might want to use a 50 cent stop loss. Now they're buying more of them. They're really getting after these guys and ride. They're up to 3,300 of these and ride. I want to ride. Um, no, they're still at 35. So I call it the signal at 34. They're still at 35. Make sure you're looking at the right ones. These are the 10, 15, 20, 21, eight and a half calls. I call them at 34. They hit the scanner at 33. So if, you, if you're a little bit slow, you can always add that scanner, guys. That will get you in a little bit quicker. So they hit at 33. I call them at 34. They're up to 35 maybe now. So ride. I want to ride. Um, use a 50% stop loss of these because it could get stopped very quickly. If the low is in for the day, how high could the stock get? So ride's got a decent ATR, guys. It's got potentially 50 cents to the upside. So it hasn't really moved today. It's looking to break out here. Um, so it's looking to break out. It can get up to 712 here to the upside, guys. 712 to the upside. Calls up to 37. Target 1 will be 48. Target 2 will be 60. So this is a new position. Let's add this to our portfolio. More calls trading here. They're buying a lot of them, guys. So the initial order is only about 1,500. We see about 4,000 trading now. First trade since the 16th. Ooh. Up to 41. Look at these things go, guys. Woo! Look at these things go. Call tight, Omar. Up to 42, guys. Wow. 6,000. They just keep buying them. Buy more. Buy more. Buy more. Uber calls up to $3.18. Look at Ride, guys. Hit the scanner at 33. They're up to 41 right now. Can get up to 714. That's our upside measure and move target. That's a low of the day plus the ATR, guys. Yeah, it's one of those that's like, you know, you could hit big or you could lose big. Um, it's kind of like a QS. It's kind of like, you know, a different couple of different names. They trade as high as 42 right now. Got two minutes to go, guys, and we have bonus the trading. 
If you pay for bonus trading, you will get into it. If you don't pay for bonus trading, you will not. to 40. If you guys made any money in, in FFV, FFIV, I would love to hear it. Minutes ago, guys. Hundred bucks on FFIV better than zero. All right, guys. If you pay for bonus trading, I'll see you back in bonus trading. If you don't pay for bonus trading, I'll see you back tomorrow. Uh, I do like ride. I do like uh, DraftKings next week. Sixty. So keep an eye on these. Letter O, Ox 70 is trading here. Thanks, and I'll see you guys back in a minute.